Hey guys, my name is Jimmy Wei, and welcome to today's video. And very straightforward. So today I'm gonna try to install the uh, Angel Motorsport the differential brace. So yeah, the car is on the jigs. So totally seven jigs. So it should be safe enough. Because <laughs> I, I still haven't got the jigs in. It should be fine. Yeah, three from the right side, four on the left side. So, and of course later I'm gonna go get some check stand because I'm sure some of you guys probably worry about my safety for doing this. Yeah, but it should be fine. Yeah, set up. Gonna save some time and get started. And first thing I'm gonna do is try to do a quick inspection. As I read the manual, so kind of have to remove the cover, the dust cover, both side, and also there's a bar. Oh, wait a second. Probably need to have a look on the manual again. So this two bolt should be bolt on the. This one is a power. The PPF uh, and probably need to remove the bar. Yeah, and I'll make sure to wear the goggles so I don't want any dust going to my eye. So, safety first. And uh, one more thing I noticed recently is when I drive the car, I can feel the left rear wheel slightly wobbling at certain speed. And I did some quick inspection and I found the wheel has some plate. The reason is because, you can see here, I found the reason. So this tie rod nuts is loose. I don't know if it's because maybe last time when I do the wheel alignment, so the inspector didn't tie it up, or I don't know why. Probably he forgot. <laughs> because uh, after that, after the wheel alignment, I feel like the, the left rear wheel slightly shaking at a certain speed. Uh, all right, so let's tie this up and see what's happening. Hopefully it doesn't lose, it should be fine. The other side is all right. Yeah, just this one. Yeah, just this one here. <laughs> oh, man. So it's definitely, I forgot to tie the nut because I changed the, the toe. Okay, that should fix the issue. Yeah, so now, now it doesn't play anymore. Before when I shake the, the tire from uh, 3 to 9 o'clock, so I can feel slightly uh, play. Yeah, hopefully the problem solved. Alright, so let's get started to install the Diff brace. So this one should be something like this. Mm. Wait a second. I need to figure out what's the direction. All right. Let's just remove the dust shield. See what's under there. Well, what was what's over there? Let's have a look. And I got my working pillow. <laughs> So to support my head, it's really sore. So I need under the car again. Uh, probably report. I don't want that. Because the last time, last time I remember, I I was trying to warm up my car, and uh, one of the neighbor he came here. Because I, I actually thought he's coming here to say hello and uh, talk about cars, but he what he said was. Hey, hey, bro! You should turn off your car. It's all, it's all gas. It's poisonous. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. I, 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 I will go out now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, but I don't know why. Yeah, some of the neighbor is not that easy to get along with. Yeah. So the one industrial come off. Mm. You can 
can see something here. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, there's a hose hanging here. Wait a second, what is it? It didn't attach to anything. Mm. Wait a second. Mm. Can anyone tell me what's this? ACP. Mm. Yeah, if, if someone know, please leave me comment below. So I don't know if this hose supposed to connect with anything or not. Mm, maybe not. And also be careful when you remove this. Good. So this one's a dust shield. And and that's why when you remove it and a lot of dust will come out. Because I, I was lucky I wear the safety googles because when I remove the first one and the dust is literally pour on my face over my face. Yeah, let's do it carefully. Right. So now I just need to so this bar here, this aluminum bar here, you, uh, you don't need it anymore. So if you want to replace this one, so you just simply remove it. Also the two bolt, the big one, you slightly probably need to spray some lubricant first. Yeah, I have my CRC. Mm. This two should be fine, just this two big one. Soak for a while. No, it's not seized. It's good. Yeah, the big one here is pretty tight, so I have to use my top wrench. Oh, this one is... It's tighter than the way enough. Those two nuts is super dirty. I have to clean it. The good sign is no rust. What sort of material is this? I think the reason why there's no rust is because the master used like some sort of stainless steel, uh, probably not steel, some other material, so so it didn't rust. Oh, sorry for the noise. Let's try to get this thing out. Mm. Oh yeah, it's coming out now. So you don't need this anymore. So on the other side. Alright, so now all the bolts come off. You just need to simply let's try to do this.
my shoulder is a bit sore, so. Uh, looks like he, uh... I'm gonna try to put it on first. Because I, it's pretty hard to use one hand to do this. Yeah, I will have to loosen those. This frame a little bit. Yeah, this one is a thing to mount the control arm. The loosen up and you can slide the deep brace into on the frame. So on this bar. Yeah, so we just need to loosen this bar. Yeah, but you don't you don't have to remove the bolt. Just loosen it and you can you have the space here. Let's go. Yeah, let's try that one more time. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, I want to find a good angle to slide this thing. Yeah, so right now it's partially on, and I will have to remove this bar. Yeah, because right now there's not too much space for me to move. And right now the the thing is touching the exhaust pipe, so I need to remove this and put it together and at the same time I need to charge my phone so there's not too much battery so I'll charge my phone and keep working on my car and later I'll show you something I a small light here I can use yeah, well, I have successfully put the brace on, as you can see. So I'm really lucky because all the bolt is on the position, so there's no clearance issue. Yeah, you can see the exhaust pipe. Yeah, it's bang on. And yeah, just quickly clean the nut. So, because sometimes because I check the, uh, so some people they might experience a clearance issue or the when when they or the nut the the bolt spot doesn't match pushing or some chassis damages or the the PPF frame so so I'm pretty lucky and so everything is in its position no problem at all yeah so right now I just need to tie all the bolt on so yeah, that's done. And just enjoy the new Angel Motorsport differential brace. So this one very good quality, much better than the Banzai. Yeah, it looks it's a, it's a one piece, no weld, so it will be much solid. Yeah, so everything is good, and just make sure make sure to torque the nuts to the correct torque spec. So for the small one, it's about uh, 13 to 19 foot pound of torque. And the bigger 21 millimeter one is about 120, 120 foot pound of torque. So just make sure don't over tight the small ones because it might break. Yeah, the big one should be fine. On the 30. Yeah. Okay, I'll finish this. Ooh. Uh, finished yeah, my neck my shoulder is pretty sore yeah but the end result is 
amazing. Right now, every nuts is torqued. Have a look. So it's done. All right, so I will go for a test drive today and see is there any improvement. I also just check if my if I fix my the wheel wobbling issue. Yeah, because I already tight the bolt on the tie rod. All right, guys, I'll go for a drive and tell you what's happening. Yeah, what's my impression on this Andrew Motorsport the RX7 diff push uh, sorry diff brace not push uh, yeah so I just finished the test drive and yeah, I spent quite a quite a long time tonight and uh, you know I snapped one of the boat so it take quite a while one of the small boat I over tied it and uh, I break it break the thread but I spent another few hours like two hours to get the boat out and get another boat man that's crazy <sighs> yeah, every part of my body is extremely sore right now yeah but i finished the test drive and uh what's my first impression on the angel motorsport uh diff brace so i can immediately feel the throttle wrist bounce so the power transfer is much more responsive and uh, so the, also when the, the power delivery is more smooth and also I can feel, I can notice that so if you don't have the brace sometimes when you uh, give throttle you can feel the movement on the gear knob but after you install the brace so the gear lever is not gonna moving anymore so when you when you uh, accelerate and so the gear level is very stable and the shifting become much easier also the downshift upshift so very smooth and, and also overall so the car is much easier to drive and also very responsive yeah I feel like I feel like a back to nature aspirated car so sometimes you can feel the throttle response is really amazing so is it really worth it? Definitely, absolutely worth it. And but there is some downside I also noticed. So the first thing is the you can feel the vibration. The so what can I say? It's not that crazy, but you can feel more uh, the carbon noise. The carbon noise you can slightly increase, but but it's okay. It's not that crazy. And because uh, the brace connect the chassis with a, a differential so together so you can feel more uh, body vibration sometimes uh, especially when the car uh, close to red line you can feel the whole car is shaking slightly shaking but uh, but it's okay it's bearable it's kind of like you upgrade with a slightly louder exhaust and you can feel more uh, vibration and slightly drawn uh, in the carbon, uh, so the carbon, yeah. yeah. But overall, the improvement is very impressive. So I can feel the immediately different. So I feel like a different car right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to find out more about the uh, difference uh, in the next few days, probably a few weeks, so I can try to experience it. And so I'm really happy about today's work so it's a little bit tired because i yeah literally spent over four hours you know, to do the adjustment and installation yeah but yeah it's definitely worth it and so i probably have to go home now i i haven't had my dinner yet so already 10 p.m right now so hope you guys enjoy the video and so tomorrow back to work and hopefully see you next week probably another few days later and just check one more time just make sure nothing broken off the test drive yeah seems all right all right guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and see you next time